like about that. Oh. They actually took time. The other two guys played so quickly. I mean, Ricky plays quickly, but they're really analyzing the shot and getting a good image here. It certainly apply a lot of pressure. Sounded a bit thin, and it's out to the right, starting to move in, but it's not moving in enough. Oh. Oh. What a shame. Yeah, it just came off so thin. I just, um, it's just, uh, I feel, I feel for him right now. That's not a way to lose a golf tournament. Jump out? Did his ball jump out? We'll take another look here. A list of great breaks. This would shuffle right up towards the top. It might have jumped out. I think that's it. I think that's it. That's incredible, Brandel. Well, if that is it, he's a. Uh, wouldn't say that this as we watch this swing right there he set up with his shoulders must have been 40 yards to the right on that shot with a short iron and he knew the minute he hit it had to be a sickening feeling we'll just take another look at it right here folks that is his That's ball it. my goodness gracious one that had hopped out two that it stayed up it was right up there with Freddie couples I'm not sure the line is because He doesn't think it's up. Uh, does he see it? Yeah, it's in, it's just inside the hazard line, but I, I've never seen that. I mean, I've never seen a ball splash out of the lake like that. Well, right there in the two feet of around there, there is a like a concrete sort of uh, bottom to that lake. That feeds the balls out more towards the middle of it. And that's exactly what he hit. Guys, I saw Mark O'Meara do that one time on the 17th hole at Hartford. And I thought that was definitely the luck of the Irish. Watch him chip it in right I, now. I think this is probably <laughs> an easier shot to make than the putts that the other two players have. But it's playing quickly and it's a fluffy lie, so trying to get the right distance will be a challenge. Well, he played a great shot. Three and just feet like left. that, I mean, he's going to walk away with a four, and he will <laughs> live maybe for another hole. And there it is, folks. I mean, he was dead. Hey. Only hopped up, and not only hopped up and out, it stayed on that slope. We've seen chip shots roll in there, coming out of the bunker. I mean, he, if he ends up winning that. You have to go back in the in the history books to find a, a better break for a guy who won a tournament. Well, Hal Irwin won against Jim Nelford. When he hooked it into the rocks on the 18th mm -hmm. hole and came back out, I do believe Maltby might have won a playoff against Hell Irwin. Ironically, that was at Memorial. Enough, hitting 76, yeah, 1976. In a playoff. 